can't believe we lost another match. Again. Oh, oh guys, that nice was... fibers. What's going on? I gotta tell you, I was a little bit surprised that you did not invite me to join you at ringside for your match earlier, which you lost. Well, I thought you were too busy coming up with another ridiculous list for us to do. I mean, we did your dishes, we did your laundry, we gave you a pedicure, we gave each other pedicures. You made, us, you made us cook you food only to throw it away, and then you consider this straight up trash talk Stelina and Rocco for an over an hour. Seriously, it's, how it's, much do those guys talk? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> We don't, we, I don't think we have an hour here. Okay, but seriously, it'll all pay off. Trust me, take my word. But look, you two just lost that match. I'm thinking you maybe could have won had I been with you. Probably. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh, so maybe there's something I need to prove to you guys. Let's go take the nail yeah. polish off. Question. The following contest will be signed under single smash rules. And it's scheduled for one fall with time limit 20 minutes. Entry first for the asylum in Gotham, New York. You do realize that he was not here last week, right, Mr. Bishop? Actually, I didn't notice at all. The show didn't approve or dis dis or uh, get worse without him. What the hell is this? That is a uh, poser in a mask. All I'm looking at is a green piece of crap who doesn't know how to take advice when asked for it. Wait, you're giving him advice? He came to me. He wasn't here last week because I sent him down to Massachusetts to a training camp to pick up a few things to stop doing this stupid crap he's doing right now and actually learn something about the business. Oh, and here in second from Lynn, Massachusetts, is a six-year-old Tyrannosaurus. Hoorah! Buckaroos! You just start your countdown. And old Bucky will be back here before you can say, Blast Well, all I know is that if he's not listening to you, he's doing something right. And here we go. The sexual Tyrannosaurus, Buck the Ross, has had a very good run since returning. I wonder how old Bucky's knees are doing. I don't know, Chaz. Why don't you go ask him? I might. He can hit you with a crutch. Not the other side of your face right. Oh, the stroke jokes. How's your hairline? Still receding? I told you, man. I love saving my head. Chicks dig the friction. No, they, they really don't. That's why you drink so much. I would if you would stop taking my booze. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Here you go. It's half empty, you jerk. Oh, here we go. Buck the Ross again. A little bit more time in the WA Dub than Arkham. A little bit? Actually, like two and a half years more than Arkham. But Arkham, one of the up and comers, at least in theory. Yeah, Arkham made, you know what? Jonathan Arkham. Say, it was, say his name with a bit more stank and whoa! All right, new move from him. It's a belly to belly, or it's belly to back takedown right there. I don't know even know what the hell he's doing. Uh, mugging to the crowd, turning his back on Buck, and that's always this bad. This is rookie crap right here, jaw jacking when he could be taking advantage. And I'm, um, oh, here we go, tie up. That's my big problem with these new people who keep coming in, Mr. Bishop. As a manager yourself, you understand one thing. Yeah. You're supposed to make them listen, you're supposed to help them out, and Chad, evidently you're failing miserably. No, I'm not failing anything. I tell him to do something, I tell him to go right, he takes a left, goes up the street, and takes four more lefts. Yeah, that's actually probably good for him, because if you're the one telling him to go right, he'll probably crash into a wall. The fact is, he hasn't won a match, he keeps asking me for advice. He's the one who contacted me at friggin' Apocalypse, you're and he hasn't won a goddamn match. You're the one who shoved your card in his hand. He asked for my number. Ugh. Well, speaking of number, it looks like Buck has Arkham's as they work, work their way around the ropes, and whoa! Big Solid shot there shot. by Arkham. Off the ropes goes Buck to Ross. And here we go. Ducks goes the, the clothesline. Line. Oh! Gets one of his own, though. And Bucky going to work. Hold on. Go what are you doing? What the hell hey, are hey, you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Learn to listen. You might actually win a match. Chat, chat, come on. You know what? Stick to the commentary. Sheesh. All right, Arkham back in. Look getting at a, this. Getting a kick from Buck to Ross. 
and hold on, knee to the head. I guess his knees are just fine. And das in. Boot! Yes! Das Boot takes down Arkham! Torpedoing him, and here we go. One, two, nope. If the kid would just listen and stick to it instead of jaw jacking with the fans. If he focused on the match as opposed to you shouting at him, maybe he would get somewhere. As Buck de Ross taking apart the newcomer, working him over in the corner like a side of beef. And hold on, reversal. Buck right to the corner now. Arkham charging in. Big splash right oh there. Boy. Goes up. Goes for the knees. Oh. Completely misses. Big club by Buck de Ross. Another one to send him up. Epic fail. <laughs> exactly. There's no other way to put it. And Arkham taken down. Johnny. You know, for weeks I've been sitting here defending, pretending. I'm like, I don't know who this kid is under the mask. I know oh, exactly well, who he is. tell us, Big Mouth? In due time. Well, then shut up about it and call the match as Big Boot. I am. Buck DeRoss is kicking the crap out of this green and piece wait a of minute. crap. Big leg, leg drop. big leg drop on the outside. Very good, Mr. Bishop. And, and you're right, stars. Buck DeRoss has been on one hell of a warpath since joining WAW. I mean, every time he gets in the ring, he seems to be walking out with his hand raised. Hey, you know what? Success speaks for itself. I and rake again by uh, two. And go for that cheap shot as usual, that little weasel moving around and... Oh! oh short bulldog. That's actually called the long Halloween. It's kind of a uh, cutter. Wait a minute. And Arkham locking in. Clutch with the neck brace. Buck DeRoss reverses it down and in one, one two, two, kicks out right there. Buck DeRoss showing that little bit more experience and getting wound up here. The sexual Tyrannosaurus, I think, about to go Jurassic Park. Blocks the big line. Hold on. Oh, ran right into a headlock. But Buck powering out, fighting his way out, trying to anyway. And here we go, off the ropes again. Buck DeRoss. Ducks, ducks the, the clothesline. clothesline. And wait, wait a, minute. a minute. Catches him up. Oh, oh shot. Well, there we go. One, One two. two. Taking a plunge right there is uh, Arkham to Buck DeRoss. Well, Saying he's about to put him to sleep. We know what this is right here. The Kevorkian scarf. This is this is Mr. DeRoss not bucking around. And that's it. Arkham tapping out. Music right oh, come on, chat. Dr. Ross, you know I got no beef with you at this moment, so get the hell out of the ring before I give you another ass whipping and break your knees again. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to take a bathroom Get out of the ring. I have a word to talk to this green piece of crap. Now is the time. Excuse me, Mr. Psycho. You know what? Come up off this time. You contacted me to get a hold of you. And what do I do? I give you all the advice in the world. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I give you all the advice in the world. And I tell you to go right, you go. I said, look at me. The only good thing you've ever done here is you wrestled so many matches with Johnny Psycho, you made him feel bad about beating your ass so many times, he had to retire. Back up, your blood smells horrible even through that mask. You're going to start listening, Mr. Arkham. I am sick and tired of pretending I don't know who you are behind that mask. I know exactly who you are. I know exactly what you are. And I'm sick and tired of you putting this crap Batman ripoff in it. So if you want it, go places. Stick with me, kid. I will take you to the top. So I want you to lose this whole bull crap. Start listening to greatness himself. And I'll show you exactly where greatness lies. Microphone. Get the hell out! Stop listening, you great piece of crap, and you will deserve the right to talk. Keep walking, kid! Shut up! I don't want any of your freaking boot stamp patching, welfare check collecting asses to tell me I'm doing my job. Stop clapping! Shut that crap up! I don't want to hear it no more! Stop talking! Shut your mouth, open your ears, and pay attention to what goes on in the ring, and stop fiddling yourselves! You done? Are you done, Chaz? Are you done making- Understandable, I am great, baby!